Greetings, everybody. I just love how the Jamaican family is always looking for a new leader, always looking for a new person to go out there and lead them, like all the ones in the past who brought them to a state where they can then lead themselves, you know, are not turning in their grave. Listen, our people, peanut gland is completely calcified, okay? Now, when you look at the average person in our country, listen, they're always looking to their former colonizers to provide them the answers. Now, it's not really a Jamaican thing. It's a, it's a thing wherever African people reside, they're always looking for a leader outside of themselves. And they are the easiest set of people to hold in bondage, whether mental, physical, or spiritual, okay? And the way it's done, it's very easy. We are the only group of people for whom the challenge is very small when it comes to controlling, you know, and leading. Now, let's talk about that donut, you know, that company that is now selling uh, donuts in Jamaica. And I'm not going to say the name of it because I'm not trying to promote it. But those of you who know, know, people are literally lined up around the block to get that nastiness. It's the food that is going to be the thing uh, that is going to, you know, help them carry out the stuff that people would say no to. People them love their gut, but it's been a regular thing. If you want to catch them, just offer them free food. That's a terrible thing to say, but it's the truth. And so all these, you know, food, you know, um, engineering, that's the best place to sell it. Anything that has to do with, you know, genetic modification, they're the guinea pig. They're the testing site. Jamaica is a testing site and it's not very difficult because, you know, when you got people lined up around the block to go buy garbage to put in their bellies. And it's one thing, you know, I try things all the time, but when my kids were little, I didn't give them food that I didn't prepare. When they were little, my children never knew what candy tastes like until they're like eight, chocolate bar, chips, things like that. They never knew the taste of it until they were much older. My last child, when she was about five, I would let her taste a piece of bread. Oh, she couldn't believe. She's like, she's like I can eat? I can eat? I said, yes, you can eat. I was so particular about what I allow her to eat. And even to this day, when I experiment with food, I don't give it to my kid who's 16 years in a few months. So the thing about it is, the people, like I say, think about your penile gland being closed. This is what's happening. It's like many of us are functioning like people who have dementia. Doesn't have the ability to think or can't remember anything. We have completely forgotten our roots. You know, we're just like this candle in the wind. We're like this feather flowing wherever the breeze takes you. That's where you land. When you try to have a conversation with people, average people in Jamaica, it's like they're clueless. And the thing is, nothing is wrong with not knowing, but it's the way they come after you when you try to teach something. If it's something that is new to them, I don't know if, it, if you say something that causes them to think, make them angry because they don't want to think, or it's because the mind is so closed is so calcified it is the reason these poisonous noxious things that they're ingesting in the drinks in the food in 
the air too, of course, and not to mention the water. So sometimes when you want to judge our people, you have to just roll that back a little bit and say, really, where is this coming from? What's going on? What's happening with the young people? Remember, people used to get up early in the morning, at least we're when I was a child growing up, and prepare solid meal for us to eat and to take to school. Now you got people, you know, giving their children a cup of soup. Mighty. I would never give that to my animal. Cup of soup. That's their breakfast and dinner. There's no value, no nutrient in these kind of things. Your mind needs healthy food. When my kids were little, I would prepare a meal every day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And in my next video, I can show you all these awards that they won for healthy living. Even when I was neglecting the way I eat, not my children. So for the people in Jamaica that reason a certain way, you have to understand and forgive them. Forgive them because they don't know what they're doing. If you think food has nothing to do with your brain or nothing to do with the way you think or how you behave, just, just watch people. There are certain animals. If someone tells you, I love eating pork, for example, no offense, but these folks who love eating pork, pork they behave a certain way. You know, and people who love to eat, if you look at people who are vegan, for example, I'm not. But I'm just saying, if you look at people who are vegan, they a certain way. They have a certain way of thinking. People who like to have juice, natural juice, look at them. It doesn't just help your body. But it's just the way of life. It makes a difference. What you consume makes a difference with how you behave, how you, you know, how you think. And I'm not against people eating meat because I eat meat as well. I'm not a big red meat person. And if I don't eat meat, it's not because I'm vegan. It's because it, it bothers me. But I also notice that too. When I consume certain things, it, you know, it makes me irritable. Not just my bowels, but my behavior. I'm more aggressive when I eat animal parts. You know, and I'm more satisfied when I have fruits and vegetables and more mellow, you know. Um, so what I'm saying is it is not going to be difficult, even though you see them going off there and making a bunch of noise and whatever. It will not be very difficult to control these ones. They can only say no so far because until you understand yourself and your body and understand that your body is a vessel. So the things that they're putting in their body is also affecting the way they're behaving and what they're open to. If you want, that's why when we fast and pray, you know, we, we get these downloads because we abstain from food for the most part or abstain from certain food. We give up certain foods. And a lot of times while you're praying and fasting, you're giving up, you know, sweets, you're giving up you know, like that sweet sugary and you're giving up, you know, fried foods and you're giving up meats. And, and at that time, your penile gland starts opening and those downloads are coming and they're powerful. Just, just test it one week. I'll have no sugar. I'll have no meat. I'll have whatever. And watch what happens and see how, you know, things become more clear. You're able to make better, better decisions try it and you'll see but to end the video i am going to say that it will not be very difficult to to tap in to the market in jamaica and to use food um in the people that when it goes in the body it's like you can just touch a remote control and and move them you know like you're playing a video game yeah the people need to do better man to get out of that immediate need and gratification that the physical body needs and to just strengthen your mind uplift your spirit open yourself to the point where each person 
is our leader and not looking for other persons to lead. Because if you're always looking for one person to lead you, to take over and govern you, you know, you're always going to be lost because we're human beings and people, you know, get put away or they transcend this earth. You have to be your own leader. You have to be inspired. Stay blessed.